Welcome back on the mat. We'll start in our upright seated position. You can close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, just feel that you're getting length in your spine. Feel the lower body being heavy, knees relaxing down towards the floor, sit bones making contact with the mat. And then with the spine, the crown of the head, you lengthen up to ceiling. You can start to deepen your breath without forcing. The idea is to maintain this consistent breathing pattern throughout the practice. You can slowly open your eyes. So, we make our way to all fours. Knees below the hips. Hands below the shoulders. And just to feel into your shoulders first. Dip into the shoulders, keeping the arms straight, but get the shoulder blades a bit closer together. And then push away from the mat. Create as much space between chest and the floor. Notice how even the ab abdomen will play a role to get the chest further away. Once again, dip into the shoulders, keeping arms straight. And then push away from the mat. Now this extreme pushing away is a bit too much activation than what we actually need. So just find a nice in-between mid-range that feels as if you're getting decent activation. Fingers gripping the mat, let's straighten the legs, making our way into plank. In your plank, you wouldn't want to collapse your head down. You keep the neck in line with the rest of your spine, feet hip distance. And I will do that same sort of movement in the shoulders. First, dip into the shoulders. You'll find the posture is just more heavy in this position. And then push out of your shoulders, draw navel to spine and get space between the shoulders. And now take it back into a more healthy or natural positioning for the shoulders. On an exhale, lift your hips, take it into your first down dog. Always welcome to walk it out a little bit, but if you feel comfortable and you just wanna stay in your down dog, you're more than welcome to do so. Arms nice and straight, shoulders away from ears, but you've got length through your spine. As usual, if the hamstrings are tight, a slight bend in the knees will assist to maintain this nice straight position. Bend into knees, look up. Inhale, feet between hands, halfway lift. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, bend knees, take arms up, chair pose or utkatasana, and exhale, mountain pose. Step your feet hip distance, hinge in the hips, take it into a slight forward bend, but bend into your knees, hands onto your shins, push your chest forwards, arch in your back, tilt your bum up. So now the chest is sort of facing down to the floor, but as you start to arch in the back, you feel the sternum lifting, but we still bringing the chest down. Now start to slide your hands up to your knees, lift your chest. Take your arms alongside the body, turn your hands out to the sides, shift more weight onto the heels. Next inhale, take your arms out in front, reach up and forwards. Maintain that arched back. Keep a strong deep breath. Exhale, turn it into a forward bend. Nice modified sort of chair position. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your hands on exhale. Step it back and lower down all the way onto the floor. So we do chaturanga, but then you relax down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, lift your chest. Float your hands off the mat. 
You just continue breathing. Take your arms out to the sides. Pull your shoulder blades closer together as you raise your arms. Exhale, hands down, tuck toes, push up into plank. Exhale, down and facing dog. Inhale, raise your right leg. Exhale, position right foot in between hands. Place your back knee down. Instead of instantly sinking the hips forwards, let's focus on a, bit of, a little bit of a tilt in the pelvis and then move your hips forwards Maintaining that tilt in the pelvis. In, I'll take your arms up. Grip hold of your left wrist with your right hand. Pull your left shoulder closer to your ear and start to stretch over to the right. Bit of a lateral bend. In, I'll back to center. Exhale, release hands onto mat, tuck toes. Straighten back legs, step back, chaturanga, dandasana on exhale. In breath, upward facing dog. Exhale to a downward facing dog. Inhale, raise your left leg. Exhale, control position, your foot between hands. And bring your back knee down. As you sit up or come up, tilt in the pelvis. Feel that. Neutralizing in the spine. Sink your hips forwards. Arms go up. Find the right wrist. Pull your right shoulder closer to ear. Stretch over to the left. Keep the front knee in line with the left hip. Inhale, arms back up, exhale, release. You can straighten the back leg, step back, and we use the exhale to lower down chaturanga. In breath, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog pose, Adho Mukha Svanasana. We'll do a slightly shortened stance, step both feet in. And work your heels down towards the floor. Work your chest towards your feet. Bend knees, look up. In breath, feet in between hands. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, bend your knees, take arms up into the chair pose. Exhale, swing your arms back, bring your chest forwards. Holding this position. Now we've got knees more or less in line with the toes. We'll start to push the knees past the toes. As long as you don't have pain in the knees, it's okay, but keep the heels grounded. So we're pushing the knees forwards, stretching in the ankles. Keep a length in your back. Exhale, forward bend, head to shins. In breath, halfway lift. Plant your hands, exhale. Make your way back into plank, and then chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring your hips down into a plank, and with control, lower down all the way onto the mat. Position your elbows below the shoulders. So, you've got the option of staying in this position, or you can straighten your arms, and with the next inhale, raise your right arm. Exhale, bring your right arm down. Grip the floor with your right hand. Take your left arm up. Exhale, 
Exhale, bring your left arm down. Lower the forearms down onto the mat. Widen your stance. So take your feet mat width apart. Lift your hips, bend your knees, and hold. Keep engagement in your core. Strong breathing. Slowly bring your knees down, pelvis down. Bring your feet hip width, hands below the shoulders, squeeze elbows to body, pull shoulders away from ears, tuck toes and push back up into plank. You can make your way into a downward facing dog from there. And I'll raise your right leg. Exhale, step right foot in between hands. Angle your back foot. Keep the right hand to the outside of the foot. Take your left arm up. You keep sinking low into the front knee. Use an inhale to make your way up into a warrior two. Left hip to the back, right hip to the front, shoulders away from ears. Turn your front hand, reach up with the top arm or front arm to ceiling, sliding your back hand down the back leg, but keep sinking into the front knee. And I'll bring it back to warrior two. Exhale, bring your hands down to the left side of the mat. Keep working the right knee out to the side and start to walk your hands further away from your body. You're keeping length in your back, you hinge in the hips. Walk your hands back under your shoulders and use an inhale to get back up into warrior two. Exhale, windmill your hands down. Step back, chaturanga dandasana on exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. In breath, raise your left leg. Exhale, position left foot in between hands. Pivot the back foot. Take your right arm up into side angle pose. Opening your chest to the right. There's still lots of weight on the back foot. Imagine I take your right wrist and I pull up to the ceiling. Gaze over your thumb. And I'll come up, warrior two. Shoulders away from ears, hips open. Turn your front hand. Reach up, slide the back hand down the back leg. Sink low into the front knee. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, hands onto the mat on the right side. We're still sinking into the front knee. Start to walk your hands further away from the body and hold. Walk your hands back under your shoulders and use an inhale to make your way back up into warrior two.
Exhale, windmill your hands down, step it back into plank. Low down, Chaturanga Dandasana. In breath, upward facing dog. Exhale, into down dog. From your down dog, place your knees onto the mat and sit back into child's pose. You know, make your way back up. Now we'll place four arms on the mat. Grip hold of your triceps. Don't let the elbows slide any further apart. Interlace all ten fingers. Squeeze your palms together. Push your forearms, elbows, sides of the hands into the mat. Tuck your toes. Straighten your legs. Hold this position. We're going to be building a bit of shoulder strength. So the idea is with an inhale to lower the hips, jotting the chin past the hands. Exhale, push back. Inhale, chin forwards. Exhale, back. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, two more, in breath, out breath, last one, inhale, exhale, push back and hold, And you'll very slowly bring your knees down and make your way back up onto all fours. This time around, we get into a seated position. As you get to seated, straighten both legs. Legs can be nice and straight, feet flexed. Reach with the hands and see if you can grab hold onto the balls of the feet. Take a nice in-breath. Exhale, actively pull yourself forwards. When you use your arms to pull yourself a little bit deeper, don't get the shoulders close to ears. Instead, draw the shoulders back and away from the feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Step your right foot onto the floor and just to the outside of your sit bone. And the idea is to sort of pull your knee in slightly. So we get the right arm around the leg. See if you can get the hand behind the back. Find your left wrist with the right hand. And once again, you sort of pull the knee in towards the body and the tricep pushes the knee back as you exhale, doing your forward bend. You've got weight in the right foot. Inhale, slowly coming up. You can straighten the right leg, bend the left. We'll do the exact same thing on the opposite side. You reach with the left arm around the inside. Then you get your hand behind your back. Find your right wrist with the left hand. Deep in breath. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway lift, 
exhale, release, straighten your leg, point with the toes, place your hands slightly behind the shoulders, fingers pointing forwards, use the inhalation, lift your hips if you can, collapse your head back. Exhale, slowly lower down, bend your knees, grip hold onto the outsides of the feet. So usually we do big toes or something like that. You're going to grip hold, you can lift up, get onto the sit bones. And if you struggle to straighten your legs, then you might end up in a bit of an upright happy baby like shape. Alternatively, just straighten your legs. Keep the chest up and slightly look up. You can let go of the feet, lower them down as they make contact, find the outsides of the feet once again and get into your forward bend. <coughs> Keep your legs active. Halfway lift, exhale, release. Bring your legs back onto the mat. And do Janusasana A, bend the right leg, foot to inner thigh. And I'll take your arms up to ceiling. Exhale, find your left wrist or just hold onto the foot as you do your forward bend. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release. Switch legs, you can straighten the right leg, bend the left, taking a nice deep inhale, arms go up. Exhale to the forward bend, finding your wrist or holding onto the foot or even your ankle. Halfway lift, exhale, release, making your way back up. So we get into a seated position and we'll work towards getting to a minute breath. So that would mean 20 seconds inhale, 40 seconds exhale. Now that's what we work towards. So you're going to have time. I think a good starting point would be inhale to the count of four, exhale to the count of eight. And right after you can take it to five counts on the inhale, 10 counts on the exhale. Wherever you get stuck, that's where you keep your breathing pattern the same. So slowly but surely build it up and eventually we get to 20 seconds inhale, 40 seconds exhale. 
I have to add, if you make use of the Ujjayi sensation in your throat, it's going to be easier to regulate the breath. So that would come in handy. But it's important to sit up nice and tall. You're not in any form of competition with yourself. You don't have to get to a minute. It's simply you doing a bit of breath work, working with the lungs. It's a bit of cardio for the lungs as such. So sitting up nice and tall, relax your facial muscles, close your eyes. Maintain that ujjayi and you can start, you count in your own head one and two and three and four and you just see how far you can get. I will bring you out of the breathing exercise when it's time to relax back. After your exhalation, you can allow the breath to be natural. Very light, almost non-existent. And when you are ready, you can make your way onto your back into corpse pose. You can stay in your corpse pose for as long as you like before you carry on with your day. <laughs> 